Hello everyone, it's been a long time since I posted a color pencil video, so I thought it would be nice to share a tutorial with you today. Once I transferred my line drawing onto my black paper, I used the poster putty, it's like blue tack or something like that, and I kind of dabbed on the white residue that was on the paper so that I wouldn't crush it by mistake and spread it on the paper. Now there's different ways to transfer your line drawing on your paper and the reason why I transfer it on my paper rather than sketch on my paper is because the black of the paper can be a bit fragile and if I have to erase anything it might damage the surface of the paper or at least the look of it and give it a shine that I don't want. So it's better to, in my opinion, to transfer the sketch. And if you're not comfortable sketching, you can always transfer from a photo. That's no big deal. So you can use a regular tracing paper with gra a graphite pencil. The line of the graphite pencil um, will show at an angle. You'll see a slight shine, but it might be a bit tricky to see all of it. So that's my least favorite method of doing it. But you could also use some Soral, um, S-A-R-A-L, it's the name of the brand. It's transfer paper. So on one side, it's coated with some white, I'm not sure what it is, like regular transfer paper paper has carbon on it and it's uh, so so when you use it it's it makes a, a dark line uh, so you you put the side where it's coated onto your paper and then you draw with whatever you want a pencil on the other side and so the impression you make on the transfer paper shows on your paper underneath the Soral brand makes different colors I think there's yellow and blue and red but there's also a white so that your transfer line shows as white on your black paper so this is a great alternative now I do not use this because what um, I like doing best is using regular tracing paper but instead of tracing my drawing or my sketch with a graphite pencil I use a white color pencil but then I can use a regular graphite pencil to just do the transfer and so my line drawing on my black paper will be white and it'll not be very strong it'll be pretty faint but enough for me to use it as a guideline and I tried before the Soral transfer paper and it works great but to me it works too well and the transfer line is too strong. So I always have to use an eraser and uh, remove some of it. So it's too much for me. So using a white colored pencil with regular tracing paper, I think that works best. All right, so when that was done, I used my white colored pencil and I established all the details of my drawing. I, in this case, it's a tabby cat. So there's a lot of patterns in the fur. And so I drew all the different patterns. Uh, when I say detail, it's not very detailed, but I wanted to um, kind of have a feel of it and make it look like a sketch. And keep in mind that I do that, I cover everything in white so that when I go over it later on with another color, it kind of acts like a shield against the black paper. In other words, when you use colored pencils on black paper, the black tends to absorb the color and doesn't show it as well. It doesn't look as bright as if you were using a, a white paper. So putting a layer of white beforehand will allow you to make your colors pop better. So I do that with a very, very light pressure on my pencil. I don't want the little grooves, the little nooks and crannies on my paper to be all smushed. I still want my paper to have some grains to it so that I can add more layers later. So I go uh, slow, I take my time. I always look at my reference picture because I want to make sure that my fur goes in the right direction. So with a, a cat or, or at least a, a tabby cat, it's very easy to see which direction the fur is going. So I make sure that I follow this very carefully. 
And again, I don't apply too much pressure on my pencil because I know I have to add more layers later on. I only want to establish my cat basically and its fur. So once I've gone through the whole drawing with my white pencil, then I observe my reference photo very carefully and I try to find all the areas that are the lightest. Uh, I'll start with anything that's white and then I'll go to the lightest colors and what I do is that I add a second layer of white. I want those areas to pop out more than the rest because for the rest I will be adding more colors but for now I'm focusing on the lightest areas. And once I've gone through the whole drawing, adding lighter areas, adding more white layers, then I start glazing uh, the main colors. And I do go from light to dark. So all my lightest colors I'll use first. So for this one, I used a bronze, I believe. And I went very, very lightly over the white except for the for the parts that were actually white and it will stay white and I went really really light and some areas don't have this color and it's more of a reddish brown so I went through my whole cat and I added a thin layer of color And finally, I'll use my black Derwin drawing pencil. And the reason why I'm using this one rather than the Prismacolor pencil, I, I do use my black Prismacolor pencil for very fine black details, but the finish on the black paper is a bit different. It's more matte with the drawing pencil, with the Derwent pencil. 
and it's a bit more shiny actually it's a lot shinier uh, f with the Prismacolor color pencil so I don't want my my black areas to shine too much compared to the rest of the drawing so that's why I use a Doron pencil and I apply it to all the black areas I used to just use the black of the paper but I always have some touch-ups to do and so uh, it just looked a bit weird so that's why I like to use this pencil and once I'm done I use a paper towel and I kind of rub onto the uh, black areas that I just applied to even out the finish and also to kind of blend a little bit of black onto the rest of the colors to make nicer transitions so once i've added my first few layers and i'm happy with everything then i'll spread the drawing with a fixative and let it dry for a while and once it's dry then i'll go back to it and start adding more layers and really those layers are a repetition of what i just did basically i add more white you'll find that after you apply a fixative your paper will have a, a little bit more tooth to it so it's easier to add a few more layers and before you do that because all the layers you've already put down have eaten up a lot of the grain of the paper so it's hard to apply more so applying the the fixative helps you uh, regain a little bit of texture and so you can add more layers so your whites will pop out even more which is great because it can be tricky on black paper and then you can use them also on top of the colors that you applied and and then add more colors uh, more glazes of colors and you'll see that eventually you'll have uh, nicer colors and they'll pop out more and I know I keep on talking about layers, but it's very important that you just use as many layers as you can because that's what in the end gives your drawing a lot of texture and makes it look more realistic if that's the look you want to give it. Now I know you might be wondering about some of the pencils that I'm using. They look a bit strange and it's just a little pencil saver thing that I do. I'll put a link on top of my video to another video explaining what I do and how and why. So anyway, that's it for this little kitty cat. I hope you like it. Thank you all for stopping by. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.
Thank you.